Here we're going to demonstrate how to remove cam bearings from a block. So this is in an older style engine block that has the, the end block camshaft. These bearings need to be removed and then later reinstalled, the new bearings to be reinstalled. So the first step is to get down and look at the bearings and take very careful note as to where the oil holes are. You'll notice that this bearing has two oil holes, one up here and one down here and a groove. It's good to take a picture of that or mark that. The next bearing in, you can't see it very well, but the next bearing in only has one hole. So you need to make very careful notes of where those holes are because they need to line up with the oil holes that are in the block. So as oil passes through the block, it could pass through the hole and oil the camshaft. If we later install those bearings off-centered a little bit, then no oil will be able to make it to the camshaft bearings. Okay, so first step, we come over to this tool, we get the long shaft, we also have this cone, we stick the cone on the shaft like that, use this, and we find the appropriate adapter that fits into the bearing. In this case, this is the adapter that fits best. We slide the adapter on like this, then thread it into the end of this shaft. And what's going to happen is as we tighten this bolt, it'll expand the adapter to fit into the bearing. So we stick it into the first bearing, we put a wrench on the, on the nut on the end, and then I twist this handle until you see that it spread and expanded that adapter until it's tight. We want it tight enough that this can't slip through the bearing and damage the bearing, especially when you're reinstalling the new bearings. You don't want to slide through the bearing, so make sure that's tight. Sledgehammer, and try to hold this as straight as possible. Once it's out, we use the wrench to loosen it again. And we pull the bearing off. There's one bearing. Now to do the next bearing, we do the exact same thing. With only one difference, we now have this cone. And the purpose of this cone is so we can slide it down and center the tool to help us so that we're going straight and don't damage the bearings. So we... Loosen it, move the bearing. That's how we do it.